How's it going, guys? Vatic Vapor from Space Siggy's Forum and all the forums, guys. Coming to you with another device review, and this time this is the Anokin Cool Fire. That comes in this box right here. And inside we have uh, a couple of pieces of paper and the uh, owner's manual for the Cool Fire 2. This is what it looks like. It comes with uh, some sort of clear miser tank here, kind of like an iCure 30. Not seen one quite like this before. But uh, let's take it apart and look at it. It's got a pretty nice drip well in there, looks like. This is also an 18350 device, and uh, it looks like a grenade, as you can see. It has uh, the rotating wheel on it, just like the iTaste 134. Basically, this is an iTaste 134, um, except it takes an 18350. Let's pop an 18350 in there. And I do believe it's five, three or five presses to turn it on. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, three presses to turn it on. And it flashes the different colors just like the eye taste 134. Um, yeah, starts off green. The button's green, and then it fades to let you know the battery life. Um, let's set it and give it a quick puff here. I'm going to set it to 9 watts. I'm going to screw on my RSST. And I do believe my RSST is about 1 ohm. Maybe 1.2. And I've got it set to about 9 watts. Let's give it a quick buff and see what it's like. It didn't taste too well. Let's turn it up a little bit. Okay, the one thing that I don't like about it is the numbers are very hard to see on this little dial. And uh, there's a little dot right above the, uh, the fire button so you can know what you're set to. But like I said, the numbers are kind of hard to see. It goes from 7 to 12 and a half, I think. Yeah. Let's set it up to 12 and a half and see if it fires. Mm-hmm. That's actually not too bad. That's not bad, but uh, as you can tell, it probably is not going to last very long set at 12 and a half watts with an 18350. Now, I don't know how uh, accurate that is. It can't be too accurate. Um, I'm not a real big fan of uh, 18350, single 18350 devices, but, uh, you know, this is basically a novelty item. Um, if you're just going to go out to the bar for an hour or two and, you know, goof off. Not vape a whole lot. Um, draw some attention. I guess this would be perfect. Uh, I don't know if it uh, looks like it's ego threaded, maybe. No, no, let's try. Put a... Nope. Yes, it is. Huh, it is ego threaded. Okay, I'm going to have to turn this down a little bit. Turn it down to about 8 watts, and I'm going to hit uh, Kanger T2. Now, 
No fire. Well, that doesn't fire. Might not be making a connection. Let's try a mini pro tank on it. See if it fires with a mini pro tank. Mm hmm. The mini pro tank fires pretty darn good with the uh, with a 2.4 uh, ohm coil in it at uh, eight. Yeah, I hate. I can't see the the numbers too well. Nine watts. That fires pretty good. So so far, it feels pretty good in the hand. I do not like not being able to see the numbers on it. But it is protected. It uh, is variable wattage and it's just like the iTaste 134 except it's in a smaller package and looks like a grenade. Okay, I put a, a G25 tank on here. It's kind of like a, a pro tank. Uh, it works it works pretty well um it's a novelty guys um it works okay the only thing that i don't like is that you can't see the numbers very well on the dial so that's about it for the uh cool fire 2 by anoken it's a novelty item and at 79 bucks retail uh if you're into that kind of thing, if you like the novelty kind of vaporizers, man, it's cool. Um, I'm Vatic Vapor from Space Siggy's Forum and uh, all the forums online, man. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one, and as always, keep on vaping.